thank you for uh, being with me uh, during this second episode uh, based on Mukul's uh, S. Anand's cinema and memories of his uh, personal life too. Uh, in the earlier episode, I'd spoken about my parents' journey from uh, the north of India after partition to Bombay and how they settled down in Bombay. Today we'll have a look at some of Mukul's uh, childhood events and uh, uh, the life in Bombay during that period. I had spoken about uh, my father's journey from partition uh, infected North India and uh, his settling down in Bombay. I must mention the fact that uh, uh, during this journey, uh, my mother towns from where she hailed, namely Pathan Kot and Dalhousie, were very uh, fruitful, uh, very helpful during this journey. Uh, when partition happened, my father was running cinema halls in Jhelum and uh, he had uh, uh, already an intimation of partition. So we were sent to, uh, to um, our grandparents' home which is today uh, Amar Heritage Hotel in Dalhousie. So we stayed in Dalhousie while my father was um, making his way from uh, the partition uh, infected areas to uh, meet us uh, via a, a st an odd route, his route, partition, uh, uh, the partition um, circumstances uh, so he came through all this and he met us I think he came via Delhi and he met us in Dalhousie but by the time he reached Dalhousie he had a stubble beard and uh, some he never spoke about partition but the main thing that he did tell us or one of the anecdotes let's say that he spoke about was that once he was crossing a road and he thought it was the you know like it's with banyan trees that there were many roots on the road and they weren't roots but they were uh, a lot of snakes who were intertwined so these are just one of the anecdotes which my father recounted as a anecdote nothing more than that but otherwise he never spoke to us about partition uh, so this was just to remind the importance of my mother's towns which were Pathankot and Dalhousie Dur during this journey uh, my father's journey and my parents journey from uh, the north of India to Bombay after partition. As I had said, uh, Mukul was uh, born uh, in Bombay and uh, the theme of uh, Mukul's life, according to me, is Bombay Mary Jan. Uh, during those uh, early periods, uh, as in many Punjabi families, uh, the custom was, Mukul was born a chubby child with ringlets. He had lovely uh, curly hair like most of us Anans. And uh, it, it, as, it, as uh, in many Punjabi families, uh, the custom uh, called Mundan, which meant uh, that the boys kept their hair up to the age of five. And uh, at the age of five, they, there was a hair cutting ceremony called Mundan. And during this hair cutting ceremony, which where you had a lot to eat, and there were there were some small ceremonies where uh, uh, Mukul had as as a young boy whose mundan was going was being done had to have a friend uh, during this ceremony, and his friend was no other than Chintu uh, Raj Kapoor, the future Rishi Raj Kapoor. My father had a, a passion for photography. And I remember a whole series of pictures that he'd taken of uh, Mukul as uh, uh, maybe as a two-year-old or a three-year-old um, with, with cats, with a cat. I mean, a whole series of pictures. Otherwise, our dad, our dad would take us to Juhu Beach and uh, he had a whole series of uh, a collection of Roliflex cameras. This was the air, uh, period when uh, uh, when restaurants like Bombelis 
were coming up and my father was very friendly with the Bambeli uh, restaurant owners and he had another um, I mean again friends with uh, whom we would uh, go for these uh, uh, walks to Juhu um, there was Mrs. Ira Jones and a future star whose name was Sheila Jones and Sheila Jones and my brother Mukul were of the same age and there were many photographs taken of them too. Um, after uh, all these events were very family events and they were attended by many families like the Kapoors, like the um, Chopras, like the Ravels, uh, like my uncle uh, Mr. Indraj Anand and his family. Uh, they, they, they were very familial events uh, including uh, my neighbor Mrs. Uh, Asha, Kapu, uh, Asha um, Parekh and uh, many other uh, uh, stars whom I'll speak about during uh, uh, while I speak about uh, the parties also which were prevalent during uh, the growing up period of uh, Mukul as a child. Uh, so we had many parties, parties which were generally for my elder sister in Hindu. She had a, 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 a very uh, uh, large number of friends who were uh, film stars and they would attend her parties. Reciprocally, she would also attend parties of other film stars or go for mahurats and premieres as was the, the custom during those days. Um, as I was speaking about the fancy dress uh, parties, birthday parties, I mustn't forget uh, a very um, humorous and uh, a very loving anecdote. My father tra loved traveling too. He had been to Europe and he'd also been to Japan. And during his trip to Europe with uh, one of his income tax uh, officer friends, Mr. Abrol, he had uh, been to Greece and he loved the Greek soldier outfit, which he bought for uh, I think it was for my uh, for Mukul so because uh, that's what turned uh, I mean this was his future fancy dress outfit for many a party and I remember that he was prepared by my elder sister Indu Gupta very often to stand and very solemnly uh, salute and say I am a Greek soldier and if I'm not mistaken this costume went down to my younger brother Rahul Anand once my elder brother had grown once Mukul had grown up but I'm not certain about that but it's a very very pleasant anecdote in my memory and in our family as it was also uh, the custom during those days uh, uh, ch uh, childhood uh, birthday parties uh, the children would come dressed up uh, in uh, we call them fancy dress costumes and I remember a, a party especially which was very uh, uh, which was very striking because uh, the children of the Kapoors had come and I remember Dabbu Raj Kapoor who was uh, late, later called Randi Raj Kapoor. So Dabbu had come dressed as Hanuman with the whole get up and was very striking and during the same party we had uh, Mr. Shami Kapoor who was then uh, still, uh, I mean, who was I mean, Mr. and Mrs. Shami Kapoor, that is uh, Gita Bali. They had come with their son and he was dressed as a Negro boy, very colorful again with uh, earrings. And I have distinct memories of these pictures in my mind with Gita Bali, uh, Shami Kapoor and their son and my sister. So during these parties, there, were, there was plenty of food to eat and uh, of course as I said they were very homely parties but they were family gatherings and they were also cinema parties and we had our usual uh, group of uh, uh, my father's uh, professional and uh, personal friends like the Chopras, like the Ravels, like the Kapoors, like the Dilip Kumar family, uh, his sisters especially and uh, other uh, celebrities whom I can't remember just now. 
So Mukul's growing up, to come back to Mukul's life, Mukul's growing up, especially in Bombay, in the earlier years, he attended schools, uh, uh, schools like, um, there was a Montessori school, Dikuna's Montessori school, which he attended with my younger brother, Raul. And uh, then uh, he was sent to boarding school, which was at Belgom Satara, or Satara Sainik School. Uh, and uh, he spent uh, his schooling there. And uh, when he came back, he, uh, when he had to join college, uh, he went to Mithibai University, I mean, which is a university today, but which was just a budding college then. So I'm speaking about the year 60s, uh, 60s or late 50s. I was already uh, lecturing in this college and I came to France when I got my scholarship in uh, in uh, in the 70s so Mukul went uh, for uh, to do his uh, university studies at Mithibai College but he realized very soon that he was not interested in studying and he was more interested in cinema when uh, my father came to Bombay before prior to him his younger brother uh, Mr. Indraj Anand Anand the future uh, great screenplay writer of Indian cinema had already come to Bombay. He was mar married in uh, Peshawar and uh, he started his career with Bombay Talkies and with Mr. Prithviraj Kapoor who was very instrumental in his life. Uh, in fact, my uncle wrote uh, the father of uh, uh, my cousin, future film star, a great film star today and a great director, Mr. Tinuanan, the father also of uh, his younger brother, producer Bittu Anand, and the grandfather of another uh, great, great director today, uh, Siddharth Anand. So my uncle had settled down in Bombay before, had started settling down in Bombay uh, before uh, we arrived, but uh, he had still a long way to go before he came to the success that we all know. So he uh, started attending my brother's, my elder brother, Ravi Anand's shoots. And uh, I, I remember, I think their first, he also, so I, he had already started attending his shoots and my brother, uh, my elder brother, Muk, uh, Ravi Anand, was already working with Mr. Chetan Anand. So Mukul also got to know Mr. Chetan Anand and his style of working. And then uh, there were films, my brother's films that followed, um, which included Chetan Anand's earlier films like uh, He Ranja, where my elder brother Ravi was the production manager and Mukul was assisting. And then they, they made Hindustan Ki Kasam, which was produced by my brother Ravi Anand. And Mukul was again assisting till uh, the next film, Mukaddar, which I think my my brother Mukul partly wrote and directed. And uh, till the next film, uh, Mukaddar, in Mukaddar there were many big stars, just as in Hindustan Ki Kasam and in Hiranja. Uh, uh, Mukul, so Mukul had got a smattering of cinema and uh, then he launched on to his own uh, career as a director, earlier as a director, and later on as an ad filmmaker and also as a film producer. And uh, hopefully you will attend the third, third episode which will concern much more Mukul's own cinema.